big one too tonight. Um, it seemed like a lot of a lot of times you guys were getting just really good looks and out the road were knocking it down. Just what was really working for them while offensively uh, you guys were just correcting really good looks? Oh, we've been working on it uh, for a while now, and I guess uh, with break uh, we came back and got we been put in work, and uh, tonight just showed up. Uh, coach had a great game plan, and uh, we executed it, and uh, the shots fell tonight. What did some of that work look like? You mentioned, you know, during this, this past week, oh. you get back, yeah. Well, you got to ask them about the first two days. I missed the first uh, two days. <laughs> just, just getting up a lot of shots, you know, a lot of reps uh, over the last two days. Uh, a lot of guys, you can tell that they went home and it wasn't a slack off. They came back and they was ready to play, uh, shooting the ball well. So uh, the last couple of days, just uh, a lot of reps, shooting the ball. Defensively, uh, how important was it, even when you weren't getting the turnovers, just the, the pressure, uh, having out of sync, uh, you know, or, you know, you were cutting time off the shot clock, it had less time in the half court. Just how important was that, even when you weren't getting the turnovers, just you know, slashing the time they had in, in their own half court? Uh, coach always preach uh, staying disciplined when in the trap, even when if it's not a steal, he always tells us to stay disciplined because you never know. You got a, four other, three other teammates who was also like playing defense, so you never know if they can get a steal or not. So he would tell us. Uh, be disciplined in the trap. You guys shut them down in the second half. What was, uh, what was the difference from the first half to the second half defensively? Uh, I think the first half, uh, we gambled too much. And uh, they executed off us uh, gambling. And so uh, halftime, we just said, just be more disciplined, like he said. And uh, that's what we did. It was just us being more disciplined. Also, how exhausting is it to guard a team that just backdoor cuts like that the entire game? Uh, I think it helps us because we press, so uh, we cut the time down by uh, them having to fight the press. And so by the time they get in their offense, it's 20 seconds. So you really don't got to guard it that long versus them walking it up and starting with 25. What do you guys like about each other as a group as you get ready to come this uh, I would say it's like brotherhood. Uh, when one down, we also we always pick each other up. Like one misses a shot, we always go to that teammate and pick each other up. And, just tell them move on because we got each other's back. We got each other's back, and it's just like it's just a brotherhood, real brotherhood. Uh, Bones, um, you, you're getting more and more time alongside Marcus Evans instead of just um, uh, coming in for him. Um, what has Coach said to you about that? Basically, moving Marcus over to the two some and keeping you at the point. Uh, just being just being ready in the moment, just being ready out there, and just just going out there and having fun, just playing. That's what I've just been doing. What have all you guys learned about this team and yourself through non-conference play to get ready for conference play? We can be a special team. Uh, that's what we all we all think of each other, uh, individual and as a team. We feel like that uh, with the work that we're putting in, we got a chance to you know uh, make a lot of noise when March come and make a lot of noise in the A-10 <laughs> tournament and the rest of the conference play. Isha, how fun was that sequence for you where you had the block on one end, came down, found Corey, and hit him with the lob? Uh, just uh, kind of walk us through that sequence. It was just fun to be able to uh, celebrate it with my teammate, you know, uh, being able to see a smile on his face as well as a smile on my face. It was just, uh, it was just a great moment uh, for me and uh, Corey. And Derry, how, speaking of bonus, how did it feel to, to uh, get that call before the game, a thousand point score? Was that special? Just to hear the crowd get that excited for you? Yeah, man, that's a blessing. Uh, I gotta uh, get out, give all the credit to God. That's just a blessing just to do that. Uh, come from where I come from. Not a lot of the guys uh, get the opportunity to come to college, so for me to. Engrave my name in the VCU uh, basketball with some other great players. Uh, give it all, give it all to God. And what advice do you, do you have for these young guys next to you? Um, just Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. You see what they're doing out there. Uh, they put the work in, and uh, it's showing. It's showing up. Uh, they're young. They're aggressive. They got confidence. So. Uh, they just got to keep winning. That's a, that's what it all is about here is winning. And so as long as they keep going, keep putting in the work, the sky's the limit. Mission the journey has you know hitting the thousand point last weekend. You know you've been getting the, the ball, the three hundred ball today. Is that sort of been kind of a time for you to reflect a little bit, just as, as a senior, just just hitting that that hall mark? Or? Nah, you just want to keep going. You want <laughs> you just keep going. I didn't even know it was, uh, I was close to it until like one week last week. Like two days, uh, who we played before, uh, Wichita? Who we played? Charles, Charles. Yeah, Santos said I was close, and then uh, we lost the game, so it wasn't even on my mind. Then uh, Telly told me, so I was like, oh wow, but I didn't really celebrate, but yeah, it's cool though. It's cool though. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> um, a 10 and 3 non conference showing. How much during that time did you guys get to watch the Atlantic 10 team to kind of keep track of, you know, these are teams to look for? You know, did you watch much A 10 basketball? 
I followed it. I don't watch uh, much, but I see uh, a lot of teams had great uh, non-conference. I see like LaSalle, 93, uh, St. Louis, played some good teams, had some close games. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave is playing well, so uh, I think Rhode Island playing well too. So the league is way better than last year. And uh, knowing what we did last year in conference, I know it'd be a target on our back. So we just got to stay focused and be ready. Is that something y'all uh, kind of relish, just the league being better? Especially last year, all the talk about the league being a little bit down. Do y'all kind of relish like going to 18 play and knowing that it's a challenge? Or? Uh, I wasn't here last year. I want to say we put a lot of emphasis on like, oh, these teams are good this year. I feel like the main focus in the locker room is just what we're doing to get better, you know, to be better than the teams that we're playing. Those, those are great teams that we're going to play. But I feel like the main focus in our locker room is just uh, our improvement and our progress. What are the main things you need to do to get better? Uh, as a team, we continue to be disciplined on uh, defense, you know, continue to knock down shots, continue to, you know, not foul, continue to stop uh, teams from making threes. So uh, that's pretty much kind of the focus that we've been trying to improve on as before the season started and now as the season continues to roll.